Mrs. Jane, a 50-year-old female, admitted to the ward for surgery. She was examined by a medical officer. The medical officer has discussed the implication of catheterization with her prior to the surgery. Hi, good morning. I'm Nitya Ramasamy. I'm a second year medical student from IMU. Uh, may I have your full name, please? Jane Chong. You can call me Jane. Okay. This is Jane. I understand that you are hospitalized for a surgery. The surgeon instructed me to insert a urinary catheter prior to the surgery. Any procedure under spinal anesthesia may cause uh, urinary retention. So today, I'll be inserting a urinary catheter into your bladder. Ms. Jean, this procedure may cause a bit of discomfort, but it is not a painful procedure. And Ms. Joanne will be my chaperone throughout the procedure. May I have your permission to proceed, please? Yes. Okay, thank you. For me to perform this procedure, I will need you to remove your lower garment, including your panties. May I have your permission to proceed, please? Yes. Prepare yourself by removing your watch and jewellery. Roll up your sleeves. Wear your mask. You are now ready to wash your hands. After washing your hands, on a trolley next to your dominant hand, arrange the equipment required for the procedure. To perform this procedure, you will need catheterization set, an appropriate size Foley's catheter, a pair of sterile gloves, water for injection according to the amount indicated in the catheter, normal saline solution for cleaning, a sterile urinary drainage bag, a protective sheet, micropore tape and a urine bag hanger. Open the sterile site using a septic technique. Perform effective hand washing. Wear your sterile gloves. Arrange the equipment needed. The chaperon will pour the solutions into the gallipots. The chaperon will assist you to open the sterile follies calendar. Check the balloon for patency. Lubricate the tip of the urinary catheter. Connect the tip of the catheter to the urine bag and place it in a kidney dish. Prepare water for injection in the 20 ml syringe.
prepare the cotton swabs for cleaning. Position the patient with her thighs apart and knees flexed. Get your chaperon to place the protective sheet under the patient. Drape the patient. Place the drape without hole under the patient. Place the drape with a hole on the patient's perineal area. Gather all the things prepared on a tray. Place the tray in between patient's thigh. Then clean the genitalia thoroughly. Clean from the symphysis pubis toward the anus. It should be cleaned from labia majora distal to you, from the labia majora proximal to you. And then retract the labia majora to clean the labia minora distal to you and followed by the labia minora proximal to you. Lastly, Clean from clitoris to the anus. If a lot of discharge noted, please use more than 6 cotton swabs to clean the area. With one hand still separating the labia majora, introduce the tip of the urinary catheter into the urethra while the patient takes a deep breath and advance the catheter approximately 5 to 7.5 cm into the urethra. Mrs. Jane, please take a deep breath as I insert the catheter. You may relax now and take easy breaths. Check that urine is flowing from the catheter. Allow the urine to drain. Inflate the balloon of the Follis catheter according to the amount indicated on the catheter. Gently pull on the catheter until resistance is felt. Secure the connections and anchor the catheter at the inner thigh with micropore tape. Connect the urinary drainage bag to the hanger and hang it under the bait. Cover the patient and make the patient comfortable. Dispose all used materials and gloves into the medical waste bin. 
and clean the trolley. Wash your hands at the end of the procedure. Thank you, Mrs. Jean.